Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 9 beta 4 came out today, so I thought I'd show you the new features. There's a, quite a few features on the back end that were fixed as far as bug fixes, and there's also a lot more known issues. But basically I wanted to show you what you can actually see that's changed. So the first thing is, if you have one of those brand new iPod Touches that Apple released this past week, you'll be able to install the beta on that. So that's good news for anyone that wants to use a more modern device with the developer account in a beta. And the other thing they've done is pretty simple that we've seen before is if you go into the camera, you can now snap photos using the volume button again. Uh, that was broken in previous betas. So that's returned, which is nice for quite a few people that use that. One of the other things they've changed is the notifications icon and that's under settings and you can see notifications is now red. So that's just a quick little update that they've done. Pretty simple there. Now, one of the things I actually use uh, more often than probably most people I know is handoff. Handoff lets me switch between different things on Mac and my iPads and whatever. So if I double tap and go to the home button, you can see down here, there is Safari from Aaron's MacBook Pro. They've actually moved that down to the bottom. So it's going to open apple.com. That's what I have open on my Mac right now. If we go back, this used to be one of these uh, tiles here, I guess is what we would call these instead of being this little line on the bottom or icon on the bottom. So they've changed that and updated it. Home sharing has also returned, which is nice. Home sharing went away in the previous beta and they promised to bring it back. So it's in here. So if we scroll down and go to, I'll say music or videos, we'll go to videos, scroll to the bottom, or if you're on music, scroll to the bottom. And there you see home sharing. We now have that again, and we can share our different content around our different, different devices. So that's really nice across our home. The other thing they've done is picture in picture for podcasts. Now that's something uh, that they've done on the iPad side. So let me move this over here, unlock it, we'll move it like this. Now I brought up a podcast. Now you have to use the actual Apple podcast app. So if I go into this, I brought up Mac break. Let me just drop the volume on this here. I brought up Mac break. And as you can see right there is a little picture in picture button. So if I hit that, while I'm in podcasts, it's kind of a little bit buggy. There we go. Now we can have the podcast while we're doing whatever else we want to do. We can have it here. We can change its size. It'll play whatever we want. It's right there. So that's really nice as well. One of the final things they actually have that we can see is back to the iPhone here. Something that drove me crazy is actually the double click home button to go to Apple pay. So, I actually find I do this quite a lot as I unlock the phone using my thumb or finger or whatever, and it actually brings me to Apple pay instead of the home screen. So they've actually created a different button or a little switch for that. So let's see if we can find that here. So under wallet and Apple pay, we now have double click home button. I'm going to turn this off because it drives me nuts and happens all the time. So we now have that. Now they also updated Apple watch with OS beta OS two or watch OS two. And I actually installed that. I have my watch is now usable again with the previous version. It wasn't, they also updated El Capitan on the Mac, which is the next version on the Mac as well. So quite a few updates today, no update on the public beta yet, but this is just the uh, developer beta. And that's pretty much it. There aren't really a whole lot of other things that we've discovered or anyone else online I could find is discovered also on this latest version. So I thought I'd just show those to you. If you have any other things you found, let us know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.